Hey guys, this is Paul Keith from Keto Lake. I'm reporting to you from lakeproguides.com and just want to point out a few little basic things to you today. Uh, this is going to be real elementary. A lot of you guys, avid bass fishermen, this is you know basic stuff. So, but it's uh, there's a lot of people just getting into bass fishing and they don't know what certain rigs are. The first one I want to show you is basically just a uh, weightless Texas rig. Um, right here I'm using a 4 out hook. I like this style of hook. And what I'll do is I'll take any bait. Let's just take this worm right here. And I'm going in about a quarter to a half an inch and coming out of the head. I run it all the way up until the eye of the hook goes inside the bait. You're not, everything is inside the bait. Then I'm going right through the bait. I like to go all the way through and then just kind of skin hook the point and just lay it flat on the surface there. And the main thing is that your, your bait's pretty straight. Uh, you get too much of a curl in the bait, it'll twist on you and give you a lot of line twists coming back in. That's your basic weightless rig. I throw this a lot on flukes, sinkos, and uh, trick worms like this. Something you want to keep close to the surface on a very, on a very slow fall. The next rig is going to be a uh, weighted Texas rig. And it's the same thing. It's just uh, rigged out with the same hook, rigged the same way. Just that I have a little bullet weight up ahead of it on the nose there. And you want to slide that on first, then tie your hook. Um, I generally use a Palomar knot for most everything. And um, we'll get into that at another time at some different knots, but uh, that Palomar knot works for most everything I do out here. And um, this time in the summer, eighth ounce weight, 16th ounce weight is fine. And we're just throwing this along the edges of the grass and along the timber. So that's a real big uh, rig right there that I use a lot, probably 70-80% uh, of the time, a weighted Texas rig. Another rig, especially in the summer, is what we call a punch rig. It's nothing more than the Texas rig with a weight on it, just like the weighted rig. It's just that you're using such a heavier weight. This is a one ounce weight. And this rig um, is pegged. I'll use a, a toothpick or a rubber toothpick is what I call them, a pegging system to keep the weight from sliding. And um, generally what you're doing with this, when you hear me talking about punching, is you're going along those mats, real heavy hydrilla. Uh, I like to stay in two and three foot of water and punch the edge of these mats. Uh, you're not making long cast, you're just pitching within 10 feet of the boat and letting it go to the bottom. They usually hit it pretty quick, picking it up and just going to a different spot. It's just a steady movement uh, down a shoreline or down a boat lane, a creek or whatever that has a lot of grass on it. Uh, it's fine if there's pads and stuff mixed in. Another rig that we use is what we call a wacky rig. It's basically taking a, like a Cinco or a trick worm or something and hooking it right in the middle. It's a small hook, wacky hook. You can find it at most any outdoor uh, store. This one has a little weed guard on it that opens and closes over the, over the point of the hook. Uh, the weed guards work great in grassy areas and wooded areas, anything you can get snagged up on. Now, if it's pretty clean, open water, and you're fishing above the grass, there's nothing wrong with an open hook. Um, but either way, you're pretty much hooking it right in the middle. I generally throw that with no weight, uh, but at times I will throw a real light weight, maybe a 32nd or a 16th ounce weight ahead of it, just to help nose it down a little bit, or on a windy day to help it sink a little bit. And uh, I know this is real elementary stuff for a lot of you guys, but some people, they really don't know. And uh, this is some rigs that, that's probably the four main rigs that I use on this lake throughout the year. And um, I hope this helps you out a little bit. And we'll um, come back at another time with some more tips. And come visit us at lakeproguides.com.